times I feel I've got to talk to cake, I've got to, to stalk a steak in the fridge that sits in the kitchen there, while the loaf we've shared seems to be growing hair. And I've lost my sight because I tossed my pancake batter all night. Once I ran the tap, now I've got the clap. This painted boat you're sailing, I've turned Japanese and gone out whaling. Drink these beers, and that's not nearly all. Malted milk. Ooh, malted milk. No, no, I know I've got to punch your face. I've got to invert space. It's up. What? The song. That's Bob Dylan, man. He sucks. To stalactite. You suck! Cheeseburger and fries, please. Well, I'm sorry. I'm the mullet king. I no, Molly, I told you, we don't get paid for doing our own shit. Yeah, but you don't have any. I do. That's what I said. It's shit. Yeah, Donnie, but it might be okay, shit. Thanks a lot, guys. You're lighten up, Donnie. Hey, boss, what's the chorus to It Ain't Me, Babe? Come on. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna take a piss here in full view while thinking about Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Barbara Streisand? That's right! You know, Woody, you're making a really big mistake. Ooh, baby monkey! Baby monkey! Riding on a pig, baby monkey! Baby monkey! Baby monkey! Backwards on a pig! I'm so confused. Why am I here? Mm, someone pissed on the floor. Give me some beer without pouring it. And don't tell anyone I'm Bob Dylan. Magic beer. That was an amazing shit. you washed your hands. Never. Holy shit, that's Barbara Streisand. Thanks, folks. We're available for funerals and supermarket openings. It's great to meet you, Miss Streisand. You rock. God, you know I thought you were Bob Dylan back there, but the bar manager said there's no way. And yeah, you are a lot prettier than he is, and your earrings and perm are a dead giveaway. What did you think of our baby monkey song, Barbara? Damn sight better than any of Bob's, that's for sure. Uh, I love Bob Dylan's stuff. Weirdo. I wish I could be in a film with him. He'd be great at tilting his head at an angle. Bob would never tilt head in a film. Like he said in the 60s, never look sideways. <laughs> hey, I met Barbara Streisand. What? You did? Okay, what's she like? Hot tamale. <laughs> She's on tour in Europe at the moment. When? Well, at the moment means right now, linguistically. No shit. That means it must have been Bob after all. Yeah, creepy little fucker.
We gotta fill it. Oh, fish disaster here. Yeah, no. Look, I'm really sorry. There's gonna be a riot out there. Give me my fish burger, you bastards. This is... Just a minute, sir. This is your job here. This is not, not my job no more. My job is to stay in there and read the sports. Now you wanna be 37 minutes late? You worked this job for 17 years like me. The little fucking fish are dying, douchebag. You worked this job for 17 years like me. I don't wanna work this job for 17 years. Yeah, I said the same thing. Get your uniform on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, it's shit song request time. Does anyone have any requests? Spirit on the water. Play Spirit on the water. That's Barbara Streisand. Bob Dylan, why don't you come on up and play with us? Yeah. Must not tilt head. I can't think about you, baby. I can hardly sleep. Been tramping my life, tramping to the dawn of the day. You're always on my mind. I can't stay away. Forgotten about you Then you turned up again Oh shit, best finish this wank We were meant to be more than friends When you're near It's just as plain as it can be I'm wild about you, gal I'd have been a fool about me Wow, 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 Jesus Christ. Get cotton zipper. This place does my favorite ice cream flavor ever, country pie. It's raspberry, strawberry, lemon, lime, blueberry, apple, cherry, pumpkin, and plum. It's vanilla, you idiot. No, shut the fuck up, man. It's definitely country pie. You can taste all those fruits all mixed up with added crusty pastry in there, just like a real pie, but in ice cream form. Or maybe I just did way too much acid back in the 60s, man, I don't know. In the future, there's going to be lots of online discussion about how I was inspired by this scene and meeting you and wrote a song called Country Pie and that the lyrics are really about oral sex. But the men who write that are just sad losers. Well, getting all meta about it, at least they'll write about you. Nobody will remember me. I mean, I'm just some random singer in a turd of a Bob Dylan film. Benny Boy will fix that. Really? Sure will. No! Yet I'd rather be Barbara Streisand than Bob Dylan. That's like the eternal conundrumic question of human existence. I hope Benny resolves your conflict. That last scene was deep, man. Just need my wrench. 
This'll have to do. Hey, Barbara. What's this? It's your last album. You put that copper away. Hey. Who died, you guys? The cops busted our asses. We gotta leave the country ASAP. They discovered copies of Bob Dylan's last album hidden in our gear. Bastard must have stashed them last night. I thought I'd got rid of them all. Look, they just passed a law here, you know that. That gig last night was illegal. Yo, well, I'm not gonna play that stuff. You best run. Urgent news flash. Police are looking for a young woman last seen with the outlaw Bob Dylan eating vanilla ice cream. I know I'm better than that. All right, man. Hands up there. My hands up. You were listening to Empire Burlesque willingly. You deserve to be locked up. Hey. Hey, what's the matter? What'd you do? Why are you crying? What are you doing here? You're a wanted felon, man. Get the fuck off the streets. I got my Streisand mask on. They won't catch me. Uh, or give me it. No. Uh, you don't want to go to jail, do you? No, I don't want to go to jail. It happens everywhere I go, man. Occupational hazard. Hey. <laughs> You've been listening to Onion Burns Eggs. I didn't chop any onions. My new album, Onion Burns Eggs. You mean Empire Burlesque? Well, I tried at least. Me too. I want to go swimming. You want to go skinny dipping with me, Bob? Skinny dipping. I got a horrible feeling that in 40 years' time, a 45-year-old rock star bloke who looks 60 doing naked swimming with a 25-year-old actress supposed to be 18. Well, it might appear a bit off-color, shall we say. So I'm gonna guess that all of a sudden this scene will cut to us driving home and you'll just have wet hair. Thanks for nothing, Benny boy. Yep, you missed some good skinny back there. Oh, oh it's okay. And now here comes the fucking head tilt. You know, if I've learned anything on this planet, it's that if life gives you a head tilt, make banana milkshake or something. Mental. Well, I better go. Keep taking those meds. Hey. Ignoring this awful background music, maybe one day we'll see that deleted scene of us in the lake. Maybe on the DVD extras. One for the wank bank, for sure. And you were doing so well up to now. Hi. I'd like a McMuffin, please, with extra ketchup on it. I'm sorry, we are all out of ketchup today. How the fuck am I supposed to do my high-flying, cocaine-snorting finance job in the city without ketchup? Maybe try mustard. Mustard this. Don't tell me. Apparently Wall again. Street depends on it. Mick, is that you? Nice to see you again. Yes, it is. Generic fat slob boss. 
That's right. This is the part of the script where you fire her so she can fulfill her destiny. What the fuck are you doing? This is Mick Crocodile Dundee. Was he in Weekend at Bernie's or something? No, he was not. That's Andrew McCarthy, an inferior actor. Now give him his ketchup. No. What? Crocodile Dundee. Here you go, Mick. That's not a knife. Are you crazy? This is Bob fucking Dylan. It's illegal. Chicken nuggets and a latte, please. Pretend you're in the film Speed. Can't stop the bus. Brilliant. My name is Piano Peeves, and I'm pressing a harmonica in your neck. No! Open the door. Oh, you're recreating the film Speed. Thanks, driver. I'm Cassandra Bollock. This is a bomb. Is Cassandra Bollock your real name? Would you like to stroke my pet harmonica, Cassandra? It's full of phlegm. Here you are, sir. The Jimmy Savile Suite. smells of fish and chips. Yes, welcome to England, sir. Where's Sherlock Holmes? Uh, I'll see if he's arrived. Uh -huh. I'll give you 20 pounds for that red Toblerone. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, where are you gonna sleep? I haven't slept since 1976. Mr. Dillon, Mr. Bob Dillon, Robert Zimmerman, are you in there? I'm your number one fan. I'm from the I'm from the internet, and I want you to sign my testicles. Will you do that for me? Will you please? It'll be one in the eye for my ex-wife. Not that I've ever been married, or had sex for that matter, or spoken to a female. Hey, Barbara Streisand. So I often pretend to be Chris Berg. Bloke. Harry Sucker. Oh, I might. You're hired. Who's next? Can't hire him. Why? Well, he stinks. They all stink. A fish and fucking chips. Hello, Miss Bollock. You know, you're in England now, so you gotta get used to the smell. After a while, the whiff of Haddock and Maris Piper kind of almost starts to have its own gen sais quoi. I even find myself desiring a pickled egg right now. You have arms. Uh, you hire. Where do you think you're going? Going to the shop, get some British stuff, like beef-flavored rain and misery. Maybe a can of fog?
So I said, Dave, you're massively oversimplifying the philosophical tenets of Wittgenstein. And then I nutted the prick. Hey. Jason Momoa. Hey, um. Can I have your autograph? I'm James Colt, according to the script, love. Well, that's a disappointment. Is it? Well, yeah. Why? Because you were so fit in Game of Thrones and Aquaman, less so in Dune. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally, dude. Even though you're only about seven years old by this point in history, I'm totally gonna fancy you in 40 years time. That supposes a quantum entanglement scenario that science has yet to properly explore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking mental, love. Okay. Oh, hey, you know, if you knew what you meant to me, you'd sign this. I don't do it, eh? Bye. James Colt. James Cunt, more like. Where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need some help from you now. Come on, Scooby Doo, I see you. We got silver. You're not here with me, because I can't see you. I would have got away with it if it wasn't for those pesky kids. Oh yeah, here's Bob Dylan. Hey, all right, I'm gonna sing this song for the millionth time. I'm so sick of it, I could puke. It's a Barbra Streisand song. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack On my drum with a knick-knack Got it wet, he's a dog of bone This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack This is Cassandra Bollock. Hey, Bollock, you were pretty good back there. You definitely know your kids' songs. Yeah, man. Bollock is the bollocks. And you know what? She's also the dog's bollocks, which I believe is English for decent. Yeah. Never mind the bollocks. She's the bollock. Can it fam? You were just ice. Just ice. And you were fantastic. Remember me, Jack Rosner? I booked your 71 tour. Look, I've got a club now, down in Soho. The Electric Ballroom. If you've got any new numbers, uh, I'll book you in for a night. I've got syphilis. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, goodbye. Good luck. Hey, wait a minute. We got a lot of new songs. Yeah? Yeah. Well, if you can get a band together by, uh, say, next Friday week, how about it? I've got a nice little place you can stay down by the river. 
She won't do it for less than 5,000 bags of twiglets. <laughs> All right, 1,000. 2,000. Now. Now. This bollock loves the yeasty crunch. Hey, wake up. What? Does my breath smell of tuna and regret? Yeah. With a hint of late 90s renaissance. No. But I'm a dirty old man, right? Yeah. Jeez. Oh man, I bet that bastard Benny Boy's gone and cut that bit out too. But I bet he keeps the sex face drummer. That Benny Boy always cut me out. But the sex face drummer's cool, he keeps him hanging about. It's hypocritical. Hey, Nico. You're hating more skin in this film than I am, man. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, man. You sound great. Everything okay? I've got leprosy, jaundice, the plague, and a cold. No, I just had a call from a guy. He said he'd like to meet you. He's a big fan of yours. I don't think I had any. Well, you got one. James Colt. Mm. What? Said he'd like you to come and see him at his studio. James Cunt. You mean Jason Momoa? He sucks. A new theory of consciousness just dropped, and it's quite an ambitious one. Not only does it supposedly explain what consciousness is, it also gives you free will, and all of that thanks to quantum physics. It sounds like bullshit, but it comes from Hartmut Nevin at Google Quantum AI. And... We're talking about fucking quantum consciousness here, mate. Fuck off. It's fundamental particle physics, okay? Let's get fucking real for a moment. The very nature of our grip on identity, of our being in time and space, is at stake here. I mean, I go to bed last night as me, and I wake up today with the voice of Jason fucking Staffan. And he doesn't even become fucking famous until 1998. We've all been Statham, man. Stop being a pussy. Who said that? The Megalodon. Barbara fucking Streisand. stuff on the ground, man. It's called grass, but not the stuff you smoke. It's also the term we use for a police informant. England is fucked up. We don't have all these grass things in the States. It's crazy. Mm, it's a little bumpy for me. <laughs> I had a horrible dream last night. One day, a scary orange psychopath will be elected as your president and destroy all this. <laughs> You'll never trump that, my friend. I love it! See, that's it. Wait till she realizes this is CGI and we're all just stoned. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Ah, the monster munch, a stiff upper lip sandwich.
And a pint of tea, please, Dad. Very good, sir. And for you, miss? Scrotum. Bollock. Right, that's what I said. Have the same, please. I imagine you must hate your son so very much. <laughs> he's better now he's a Statham, sir. <laughs> I wish you were my father. Very good, sir. This scene is much more Freudian than it appeared in the script. <laughs> a black rider, a black rider. We were living too hard. Had to stay up all night. Stay on your guard. The path you're walking. To an hour to walk Every step of the way Knowing this is going to happen in 37 years Now the stumbling block The road you're on Only one you know Just not the same as it was Only a minute That temporal paradox is a fucker. Small mercies. I don't get it, mate. Huh? Have you heard onion burns eggs, Jason? It's why I drink. It's outlawed in 56 states. Holy shit. Would you put it in this movie? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm just glad I got better albums to come. But my next one's even worse. I get real good again for sure in 10 years time though. Mm. Sometimes the burden of this knowledge is more than I can bear. Sounds like your sensitive manatee's gone down the drain. Fragments of it, yeah. Oh, it's called If Only the Old Man Wasn't Such a Perv and He Hadn't Thrown Up Down These Stairs and In This Thing. It's a midget guitar. It fucking stinks. That'll be last night's Monster Munch. I don't know from experience. Monster Munch puke has a fragrant piquancy that defies definition. <laughs> I thought it was the scotch eggs, maybe. No. This stench is making me faint. Oh my God. You have water in England. Only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hmm, that's water. Must be a Thursday, or it could be a Tuesday. We should probably do a show soon to make this awful music stop. Sounds worse than one of my ballads on modern times. This is called taking a bath in England. We've been eating too many British snacks. You ready for it to rain tacos, motherfuckers? It's raining tacos on Christmas Eve. Tacos, you gotta believe in every stocking under every tree. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos for the holidays. Tacos, they're loaded in Santa's sleigh. Get ready to eat, cause they're headed your way. Yum, 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 yum,
together on the Lego. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Tacos for everyone. Cheese, 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 cheese. It's raining tacos. Yeah, she's ready for the Lego. is a cat being murdered. I'm Bill from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, I know who you are. Hmm, Crisis Magazine for all serious Barbra Streisand fans. Me and Ted saw you at that club last night, and we'd be very interested in you doing some ads for our new taco restaurant. Bill and Ted's Excellent Taco Restaurant. It's gonna be bodacious, dude. Station and other such catchphrases. We're not interested. We're going home. What? Listen, here's a small picture of me in The Lost Boys. Okay. Fine. Fine. Hey, Bob. Is this what they call dramatic tension? Or shit. What do you mean? It's a trap. It's Bill and Ted. It can't be a trap. It is. It's tacos today, and tomorrow it's Lego. This is where you'll be staying, miss. In the Gary Glitter Room. In my room? Would you like to make a homophobic innuendo, sir? Yeah. I'd like some pansies. Oh, bravo, sir. Oh, you give me the corn. I'm amazed and I swoon. Your tacos are hotter than your anus in June. Oh, you give me the corn. I'm amazed and I swoon. No, again. Oh, you give me the corn. I'm amazed and I swoon. Your tacos are hotter than your anus in June. Oh, you give me the corn. I'm amazed and I swoon. Your tacos are hotter than your anus in June. Lego. Fishing in fire is not much fun, you know. I told you they'd get you on the Lego. It happened to me, you know, back in the 18th century. And you still think you've only got a couple more years on me? I've been around the block, the Lego block. I've done more of that Swedish plastic than you've had cans of fog. It started with Victoria's Secret lingerie, and then it just got dark as shit, man. I wound up hawking these shitty ionic disc things a mate of mine was making to billionaires who would never play them. Good job, too, because we just recorded me farting for five minutes and looped it. And I knew at that point I had to get out. This won't happen for another four decades, though. 
Well, you can at least kiss me now. Not in this version. My lawyers say this scene is designed to show my growing emotional maturity, bastards. The Swedes are demanding more brick on the street. Those Scandi slags need to back the fuck off. Me and Bill here, or is it Ted? Anyway, we've decided it's time to stop playing the two-dimensional villains and to grow some good old-fashioned British balls. And between our balls and this American bollock, all we need is a prick in the middle to finish the job. Happy to be the punchline. Welcome, my dear, to season two of Guy Rich's The Gentleman called Blimey and Strike Alike. Bill here is going to get his pal Socrates and Einstein on board. Those filthy tow rags will bring the muscle. And from what I read on the internet, Bob develops a very tasty and bloody revenge fetish in the 2000s, which we can exploit in this last act. True enough. I'll go get my pistols and knives and prepare to gut my enemies. And you could just end things with a song and simple punch. You know, avoid all this mockney shite. Right. And an acoustic song to wrap it all up. Perfect finished plan. That'll give me extra time to snort some fine Colombian off a hooker's arse in my trailer. always leaves after potato dog. But he's only played it once. That in your newsletter, Paget. No, I'm right back. Oh, man. Now, Jason, this is called a Streisand Southpaw. Oh. Hi, potato dog, how we love you. Would you like to see my cock? 